Welcome back everyone to episode 3 of our Let's Play series on Command Ops 2. So this is the Return to Sane 5th tutorial once again, but still a very fun scenario in its own right. Alright, so, so far we've taken the Steinbrook Bridge and already, with very good timing, we've managed to push past uh, the Steinbrook Bridge and clear it uh, in order to allow the 35th to move in and eventually begin their assault on Lomersweiler. The things that we should be a little concerned about is the German units have been able to flee to the northeast a lot easier than I hmm, originally would have guessed. Um, in my previous Let's Play series, I had many casualties, and in this one we only have two. So that's uh, I would consider that a bit of a downside, that a lot of the German units I thought we'd be able to eliminate have been able to retreat successfully. And I don't really know what was the difference between this assault and the one I did in my um, previous series on this, um, the one I didn't do on camera. I mean, you saw the if you saw the Command Ops announcement channel update video, you probably saw that there was a whole bunch. But that's okay. Not every series is going to be exactly the same. The AI is going to choose different things. And although I would have expected we our our forces would get better, it just didn't happen to be the case. Okay, but that being said, let's... Oh, I want to talk about pricing model. I've been mentioning, deferring that to next video twice now. Uh, there's just not much I want to say about it because... Uh, now that the game is coming to Steam, I think we're going to see some kind of, re of a revision to the pricing model. Right now, when you buy the modules, when they release a new update, you have to pay about half the original cost of the game in order to update that module to the newest patch. Now you can still play on the old patch, like so if I'm comfortable playing the game the way it is now, I just keep playing it forever, no problems. Um, however, if I want whatever, it's kinda, I think the problem is they're not marketing it correctly. These updates that they're releasing are really like expansions almost, they, incre they increase the feature list. Um, I know one of the things they're working on doing right now is changing the waypoint system, I mean the, um, yeah, the system that is right now to a consecutive orders thing so that each step, each little jump along your orders list, each waypoint can have its own separate uh, task criteria or um, adjustments. I mean, you can set each one to something different. Now, if you're fine playing without that, then there would be no reason for you to update, but you know, it would be nice to have that, I think, so. Just something to consider, but I'll leave that to you guys, whether you want to make the plunge, take the plunge, I should say, and buy or not. I, myself, would hold off until you have played through at least the core engine, and then that would give you a good idea if this is the kind of game. I think it's a fantastic game, so that's just my own personal opinion. I wouldn't be putting this content on my channel if I didn't, or I didn't think that. I should finish that sentence. But enough talking about the game, let's talk about the game itself. <laughs> Time to unpause and get this going. Okay, so what's our first course of action is probably to start bombarding. Let's get the 22nd to start engaging these forces because this is a pretty sizable unit. And this is not too small itself. And they're very potent, like this is a, uh, got some anti-tank stuff a lot of vehicles let's try to eliminate these guys let's also use the 66th we have to avoid actually getting in contact with the um, able company here but let's use the 66 to kind of suppress these guys who might end up being a pain in our butt so this little doohickey the two trees right here is what i'm trying to avoid uh which two doohickeys yeah, those are the exact ones. That like three tree configuration is right where my unit comes to a close. Um, so I probably have to move it a little bit like this. I think that should be perfect. Okay, good. So we have this tree, but the other two trees are safe. Okay, so I think we're good then. And we're going to be doing yeah, a lot of damage. Oh, I want to move this up. I want to move it up a little bit though. Can I get away with that? Yes, okay. But we're so close that I'm actually gonna toggle the avoid friendlies button to allow them to fight or to drop the shells that close. So it's pretty much danger close. 
All right. The other artillery we are firing over there. No need to avoid friendlies in that situation. So that's it. Let's go ahead and unpause and start watching our our actions take place. Okay, these guys are definitely launching. We are under attack, but we didn't lose any. Pi three three one is the typical configuration there. We did lose visibility of these guys. It looks like Charlie's coming around a flank. That is so cool to see that. That is really cool. That is really cool. And yep, there they are. They're still there. We will continue to bombard, I think, these two exact units. Those are the I the I those are the biggest threats as I see it. Or at least the biggest bang for our buck in terms of what we can do with our artillery. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Okay, this is, well, this is disconcerting. It looks like we have a German unit in behind our, behind enemy lines, basically, behind our front lines. Hmm. So maybe instead of continuing this attack, I wonder if we can get Charlie Company to switch over to clear this little wooded area instead. We should also drop artillery on them as quickly as possible. I just want to push these guys out from behind enemy lines. I just hate it when they're running behind you and uh, you have to divert so many forces. As much as possible, I want to keep enemy forces in front of me, not behind me. So how do we deal with this? Because Oh dear, are these guys moving up? I do not want them to move up. Heavy forest means I think one, artillery is going to be a key. But two, probably we should get infantry. That's why I'm thinking Charlie would be a good decision here. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just not waste any time. I know this is going to interrupt their movement order, their left echelon. Obviously, they wanted the left echelon look. Let's uh, see. Yeah, Bravo wants to move up. Alpha likes to be there. Charlie probably wants to be around here, but let's just go ahead and give a new order for them to attack all the way through as well. Maximum rate of fire. Um, yeah, we're gonna leave it like that and we're just gonna have to rely on artillery to do the majority of the damage here because they're gonna fight in the forest. The forest is gonna protect them a, you know, a good amount. So they're getting, the pink shows that they're still getting that new order. Let's try to keep our eyes on everything at the same time here, which is going to be a challenge. Okay, these guys are, uh, they haven't received their orders yet. Yep, pink means that they're still receiving those orders. Okay, we finished with our bombardment mission, which means immediately switch over and bombard this guy. And the 22nd, we'll ignore those guys in the forest and we'll probably continue to bombard these guys. In fact, we might as well do something like this because if I remember, yeah, these guys are small. So we want to get the furthest west we need to go is between these two houses and the furthest south is between these two houses. Let's see if we accomplish that. Between these two and we're to the left of that one. That's perfect. So right there is just absolutely where I want it. Okay, let's leave those units exactly. I think everything is perfect for the bombardment. And now I want to back to current. Oh, we actually have seen this guy again. It's good. Alpha, or Abel, I should say, is still engaging whatever we have here, an infantry company. Poor reliability, though, so we're not exactly sure what's in that group. Alright, so Abel, or sorry, Charlie has now been given the orders, and they're going to move. Yeah, it looks like Abel's still doing a good job fighting with this guy. We'll get some more bombardment down there ASAP. 
but right now, obviously, Lomer's Viler is the next next objective. The 35th is going to be moving. Where are you guys going? Good God. I whoa. Um, look, we have to rely on them to do to make the right decisions, but oh yeah, we don't want them where they are right now. We want them down. Go down, yes. Please move down. Are they going to stop and engage? Do not. Please don't stop and engage. You'll be fighting basically everyone. I mean, there's something to be said about them drawing fire from Lomersweiler while we move up with the 35th. But this is supposed to be what the artillery per helps do. <laughs> not what we have a, a whole mechanized infantry company going up to take fire. That's not good. These guys are ready to go again. I think we'll still get these guys. Um, if they're in the forest, that's obviously a prime target for attack. Let's get these guys as well. Let me make sure I'm not hitting my own group. So between this tree and... Oh, this is going to be so hard to, to remember, but Something like this. Uh, I think let's move it a little bit like that. How's this? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, that's good. So get this guy. That's exactly what I want. Can I look at this guy? What was his sizing? 20 seconds. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, good. So we'll do that. We'll take off avoid friendlies because that should be about what we want to do. I don't know why these guys are moving southwest though suddenly. It's not the right move at all. Are they taking casualties or something? They look decent. Oh boy, we're taking fire. And what are you guys doing? Err. So the original idea for the 51st was to finish here. Okay, this is my fault. I probably should have decreased the width, the frontage, a little bit, because then they would have narrowed themselves into this little valley. Um, since I have it spread out so much, they actually think they should go up there. That's partly a failing of the, the HQ, the AI, but, um, so I should say in a role-playing sense, my, my, uh, Leaders were a little too ambitious, and I should have told them to narrow it in a little bit more. I didn't give them specific enough orders, though, so we can't be too upset. All right, so these guys are bombarding now. One there, one there. The next bombardment will be over here, yes, but not right now. Okay, here goes, <laughs> here goes Charlie. All right, we finally pushed that one out, so let me pause. Let me actually continue to attack these guys. Wow, do we still have visibility? I don't think... Okay, so let's move this one over here then. Never mind. That's good. I don't think we have visibility that far, so... How are we doing here? We're about to... Come. So we have a void friendly fire here, so they should stop when we enter the AO. What are we dealing with here? Panzerschrecks, Panzerfaust, a lot of infantry though, like 60. Motorcycles, vehicles, how are these guys in the woods? Oh, they're on the road, okay, that makes sense. And this guy's switching his fire over there. Good. The sooner the better, because obviously this guy has been displaced already. Yeah, we're really giving this guy what for, though. Oh, it looks like we've updated it. Probably we have better reliability on our reconnaissance right now. They still have 10 Panzerfaust, and they have 3 Panzer Shrek, so I'm kind of glad we sent infantry over here. Oh, look at this! This is incredibly ambitious. The 51st wants to send a unit all the way around to encircle. Well, that's hard. It's hard to argue with that kind of ambition. Okay, so friendly's in the way for this one. We're just going to delete that order. 
hopefully they have already um, what am I trying to say hopefully we have suppressed them enough with bombardment and weakened their unit enough that our infantry company can come out ahead and where will we bombard instead so we're running a little bit low on ammo. You can see that we're, we're like at one third of our max capacity. So we're running out pretty quickly, but my I'm gonna rely on high supplies in this scenario. I think that's really key to victory is really pushing your supply usage to the max, or at least if you wanna get a really good victory out of it. So the 66, where should we send them? Because I could still bombard a little bit behind these guys when they start running away, but I feel like they're going to run away soon. Could do it, though. It's really... Where are they going to run? They have to run along... I mean, they don't... Oh, they are actually... They only have a bicycle, which can go through the woods, I think. So yeah, I think we're going to presume that they retreat back in this kind of fashion. Okay, so we'll bombard them there again, and I'll just be ready to call that to cancel that at a moment's notice. And this is correct. I think that is a good bombardment. So let's bombard there again. Yeah, that's a good one, I think. So we'll continue that, and then we'll bombard here, which probably won't last much longer. Because I imagine they're going to retreat. Look at the... where. Oh yeah, this guy was going to encircle. Ah, did we just take... I think we just took... Oh my gosh. Oh, these guys have been just brutalized. Oh my gosh. We lost our, lost our 50 cal machine gun truck, and we've lost all our bazookas as well. Well, that's not good. At least we still have our um, howitzers. But geez, it just that they shouldn't be where they are. They really shouldn't be where they are. That's partly my fault, but again, that is partly the AI's fault for sending them there. I didn't take command of the individual companies. And this is just a pl platoon. Assault gun platoon of the 51st Armored Infantry Battalion. All right, let's see how everything goes now. Oh, yeah, there's a lot to worry about here. That is obviously not correct. They don't have me mechanized there. So once this group is done attacking... Are you going to support the attack, though? That would be nice. Lend your guns a little bit. These guys are definitely getting beaten into submission. And the 35th is commence, commencing its assault, so maybe it's okay that they were distracted and assaulting the wrong group. As long as we don't lose... Oh my gosh, they lost so many units, though. <laughs> so you can see the darker blue, the light... The, sh the shaded blue, I should say. That's where... That's the number of losses we've had in the course of this actual um, scenario. I thought that they would retreat, but they haven't. And these guys are now firing as well. I hope that these guys don't take any casualties. I need that anti-tank platoon. Uh, let's go to current. So I know who's actually visible right now. Oh, wow. Poor reliability with this, so it's probably incorrect information, but if it's a mechanized infantry, we need to also assault that. Well, we're leading with our cavalry recon squad. That doesn't seem correct. That doesn't seem like the right thing to lead off your attack with. For scouting, yes, but for like a, a, a heavy assault such as this, you'd think that we would put... Well, I guess what else would you put in front? Probably not both the tanks. Yeah, I guess we have to. No, we have a group of stewards. Where's Dog? Oh, this is Dog. 
Oh, okay, so the Stewarts are in front and the Shermans are in back. So this is where Baker would probably probably be a good supporting element with the attack rather than being on this hill, but who else would be on the hill then? Just we don't have enough forces to to be everywhere. Alright, these guys are done, so let's run it back. I think we won't bombard those guys. Let's just go for the ones who are probably going to give us the most problems. So these guys... Yep, that encompasses them. And uh, should we bombard these guys as well? Probably, yes. And anticipate their retreat as well. We can get to these guys later. Oh, in fact, let's just put back here, because this is three different units. Uh, those guys probably actually retreated, though. What is here? This is uh, infantry guns. Okay, that's artillery enough that maybe I think it's a good idea still. It's probably the path where this unit is going to retreat to as well. So let's go ahead and do that. These guys don't really have much anti-tank capability, so hopefully they will be okay. Okay, now we've just gotten better reconnaissance on them, I think. Yep, now it's good, and they do have a lot of anti-tank. Oh god. I don't think this unit is long for the world. That's really bad. And they're just pushing right up into them, oh my gosh. Well, I'm really worried about that. So these guys are finally retreating. Let's try to keep an eye on where they go. I think our attack pattern was good. Okay, there's lots of retreating going on up here. Oh gosh, please don't take too many casualties. Yeah, they already take they lost their Jeep. 3131 is what we have right now. I doubt it'll stay that way for very long. Where are you? Oh, they rerouted around this unit. <laughs> There they go. I think that was a good place to bombard at least. Okay, 2131, so they lost a 30 cal jeep now. I think we're gonna have to bombard just danger close to try to help these guys out. Yeah, they're retreating now. Not surprisingly. The good news about this guy retreating is hopefully they won't have the cohesion to really do anything. Hopefully we can force a surrender there. So this guy is falling back. I'm glad. I'm actually really happy that that's happening. Oh boy. Okay, let's get this done right away. So he's right at the edge of this tree, or that house. Perfect. Uh, we might as well try to catch both. So something like this. And we're just going to double bombard here because this is, this is the big place. This is where we need all our... So we only have to get to the bottom of this and to the left of that. Right. Looks good to me. Quite so. Can even move... I think a little bit left. Yep, that's good. And that should now catch this guy as well. Perfect, okay. Let's do that. And D-check, avoid friendlies. Good, we're not. So they'll pull back, hopefully, to cover. Oh my gosh, they lost two of their 30 cal jeeps. Three, one... Three. They lost two of their mortar jeeps. Oh my gosh, they just got pounded. And I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, yeah, we're on recent. Let's go back to current. We only see one. I don't even know how we see one over there. That seems really difficult to see. Unless, is it from here? Yeah, okay, that's interesting. This unit over here can actually see the infantry in the forest over there. Otherwise, we're just really bogged down in this attack.
So that's where all the bombardment is going to go. Finally displaced that unit, that's really good. And now they're moving back through. I mean, once they lose their dug-in bonus, that's also very helpful. We'll see what happens from there. Alright, we are pushing them out. We're, we're making ground now. Alpha's pushing in, or Abel, I should say, is pushing in. Probably should stop that. Good, they both stopped. That's perfect timing, because we're, we're just about to get there. No reason to bombard them yet. We're not making a move on them. Let's just try to make sure that we can take Lomersweiler with minimum losses. And I'll probably do something like this, because we know that this force is there, but we... I mean... We're relatively sure that there's still some forces over here. So let's just try to trap all those in the same bombardment arc. Seems reasonable to me. We have to keep the 66th free. Okay, look, you see the 22nd has been resupplied. That's, that's very good. Yep, they are actually just retreating out. So maybe the next set of barrage for the 22nd should go <laughs> to the northwest into the forest, but that's a low priority. Priority number one, obviously, is clear the units that are still in Lomersweiler. That's the objective of this episode, is to take Lomersweiler. So yeah, this infantry group, I guess, decided not to do its huge encirclement. Probably for the better. We are just smothering these guys in artillery. Okay, let's delete this one after the next round. There it is, delete. I don't think that one's going to be necessary anymore. Probably cleared that whole area. Oh wow, they're still taking damage too. That's great to see. I want our 66th is the one further away, right? So the 22nd is so close to this unit, I don't think we'll be able to use them with supporting fire, as supporting fire, as indirect fire. So I'm gonna leave the 22nd, where's the 62nd? I'm gonna have the 22nd pick up where the 66th has left off. Do something like this. I think even like, yeah, that's actually probably perfect. Yeah, let's do that. And then the 66th will be free if, um. Charlie Company over here encounters any, or in, continues to encounter the resistance from this German unit, which is now pretty clearly cut off from the front. Oh, there they are. They're still retreating though, but I think we can get ahead of them. Where will they be going? Should I just do something like this preemptively? No, let's let's wait a little bit. Where would they? Where could they possibly go? Facing west, but marching north or southeast, that doesn't make sense. Huh. We continue to engage them. Alright, so let's do it like right here. They're probably going to move back into the forest. We'll just, yeah, like I said, preemptively kind of mark out where we think they're going to retreat to. And then they'll have to run back through the full range of our fire. And we'll probably delete that if they start retreating too quickly. Because they should be really disorganized. Nope, they still have a reasonable amount of cohesion. Wow, we are pounding these guys though. And their cohesion is gone. Which is excellent to see. And now that unit... Oh, so we lost vision of them. They probably did retreat back. Which means... Let's cancel this, because if they're not there, <laughs> they probably continue to retreat. They're probably way down in the southern tip of that forest. Okay. And where do we... We need to think, okay, where does the 22nd continue to bar? The same spot? And another concern is when we need to make sure that we're always ahead of the enemy's decision loop. 
The 51st is going to be secure relatively soon. When that happens, we need to push them to Breitfeld in order to preempt, I'm assuming, the enemy's push north. I even think that because the infantry is more or less holding the forest here, which is good, we probably should push them around here in order to encircle and hopefully eliminate the rest of these Lomersweiler forces. Yeah, I want to do that ASAP. So as soon as the 51st reassembles, we're going to give them their next order. Okay, we found these guys. They are actually just sitting here. Apparently we do have eyes on and they haven't moved. But they have to be. Yeah, their cohesion is dropping. Their morale is dropping. We are right here. Actually, that doesn't seem like that bad of a targeting path. Yeah, I think that's... Okay, let's put it on them a little bit more because we can always cancel it again. But let's do that. We'll get to these guys sooner or later. <laughs> but the time is not yet right. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. I don't even know what that sound was. We need these guys to continue their bombardment. Now we have to watch out for our own guys. So probably something like this. Also, it's going to cut off... It's going to cover their retreating path. That looks good. Okay. And... Do not avoid friendlies. Something like that. Looks good. Okay, let's do it. Okay, there they are. They're still there, which means our artillery coming down on them. Should happen really soon. There's that artillery. We do see that those units are, in fact, they're still there. Getting these guys to retreat. These guys are still uh, attacking us. No casualties yet, thank God. Wow, and the entire group. Okay, so stop the bombardment here. The unit is retreating east. We will pursue with Charlie. I just want to try to eliminate this guy as fast as possible, because right now their cohesion is gone, their morale is dropping, their fatigue is increasing. I want to stay on them for as long as possible. Hopefully they surrender. I just don't want enemy units running behind enemy line or running between behind our front lines. The reason for that is control. Control kind of represents where your supply is able to go freely. So even right now to resupply Charlie Company, I guess we're okay because we can resupply from the road, but when they go across the river to the east, we have no way of resupplying them actually even though it considers all this under our control. Probably because, remember, this Alpha Company of the 24th Armored Engineering Battalion, <laughs> uh, but they're attached to the 51st. So this uh, Able Company, I should say, they pushed up north a little bit along this road, and then they fell back, but it still kind of secured that area for us in terms of supply. So we're going to want to do that again. We're going to want to keep pushing around following this unit so he doesn't cut off our supply. Which is going to be more and more important the further away from our home base that we push. That is good. I just don't know where did these guys think that they're going. What is their game plan? It just seems, this is what seems unusual. This force knows that we're coming in from the south, yet their retreat path is to the south. I could understand if they went east and like fled off map towards Germany, but they're not doing that. They're fleeing south, you know, kind of towards my units. Which is, uh, I doubt that a unit would do that intentionally. We don't know the intentions, of course, but maybe they're just so panicked they don't even know what direction they're going. I find that a little unlikely because they know, <laughs> they kind of know at least, 
they should know at least kind of where north or west or east is. Some general semblance. They're just going completely the wrong way. Alright, let's get these guys to bombard again. Just run it back in the same spot. Should only be a matter of time before those guys retreat. Okay, right below that tip of that house and to the tip of that guy. There we go. Okay, that's better. And we'll leave the 66th okay for now. They are, of course, charged with helping Charlie. Wow, this uh, mortar support team is just taking the long way around. Okay, that guy is fleeing, so now we need to cancel the bombardment there. I'm just going to preemptively put it over here because I think that they're going to fall back all the way to the shelter of the forest over here. And I could actually do that... Um, hmm. I could also bombard here, preemptively thinking that maybe, maybe that's where they are. Is the 51st set? Almost, not quite. Still giving them hell. Oh, we have an airstrike available. Okay, where to use our airstrike? Well, against this unit if they stop moving. I think this is the most hardened unit that we've faced. So, use it right there, buddy. Just waiting for those airplanes to come buzzing in. I, I don't want to tunnel vision too much though. Okay, there goes the air, the AA, I mean the fighters. I don't even know if we got anybody, but... <laughs> Alright, let's have Charlie switch their attack all the way through the forest here as well. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I think we're going to call the episode to a close here. We've kind of taken Lomer's Viler. I, I guess I'll go a few more minutes because we're just about to secure the objective. Actually, the objective won't be open... Uh, for another 45 minutes even. So these guys have to receive their new orders to go northeast now instead. I'm trying to get them on radio. And now I think, I, I just think it's, uh, these guys still have to move a little bit more, but I want to give that order ASAP to come around. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. We eliminated that group, that company entirely. Maybe that was partly due to the, the air cover. So very good, USAF, or I should say US Army Air Force, USAAF at this point. Uh, they didn't separate until after World War II. So very good, I, I guess it's the perfect moment to conclude it in. I think we can consider Lomersweiler taken. Um, what I wanna do immediately, I keep saying it, but I'm just waiting, whoa. Well, this is a bold, bold maneuver indeed. I don't think this regiment has a good awareness of the situation. They're running in. Oh my god, this is gonna be a massacre. They did launch one of their Panzerfaust though. Did we take damage? Those are my stewards, which I mean if they can survive the first attack there, are probably gonna demolish that unit with their stewards are very good with anti-infantry weapons. Um, just in case you don't know what those look like. There they are. They're a light tank, but um, that also makes them probably better at dealing with infantry. So here's that unit. Let's get the 66 to bombard them because things are starting to work themselves out. 
in Lomersweiler. And the 22nd, yeah, I think, I know that we have an infantry group down here, but I still think, okay, well, I know that that's, you know, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, right? So I know that this unit hasn't moved yet. Let's just continue to bombard them to prep for their eventual attack by the 35th Tank Battalion. And how's the 51st doing? They're still moving. I was hoping to get this in in this episode, so maybe I'll just speed up a little bit. We're, we're giving these guys hell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, that attack. These guys have retreated now. Uh, we're recognizing them as an infantry company now instead of... Oh, the vague is actually the worst, I think. So we have no idea what they are. Let's delete this because we don't know if they're there anymore. 22nd, I'm pretty sure that they're still there. All right, so people are retreating still here. Slow this down a little bit. Just another 20 minutes if we can get there. <laughs> yeah, that guy's retreating all the way out. with very little left. Ah, this is interesting. They do have some anti-personnel guns here. All right, we see this unit again, which means that the bombardment that we were putting down was pretty well placed. Let's do the same thing. We know that they're gonna retreat this way, so let's just once again blanket that unit with <laughs> more artillery fire. Gonna turn off avoid friendlies, just who cares? Bring the pain. And where do we get these guys? I think this is not a bad decision. Okay, so this unit has finally, finally reorganized. It took them quite a while. All right, so let's just do this then. I'm going to give my next attack order. What I want to do is attack set up hmm this is actually difficult this is where the waypoint system is less good than having consecutive actions I kinda wanna attack to here and then curl down it's really hard to do that because we we're gonna set up a form up point with the penultimate the the second to last uh, waypoint sometimes I wanna attack into the form up point and then continue the attack past it and there's not an option to do that easily right now. So I guess we'll have to wait. We just have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, well, um, I'm just going to watch things happen for a second here. That unit had survived. Wow, they're in good shape, actually. That unit is now falling back into my artillery, which is very good to see. I don't think this unit is actually still here. It probably disappeared. This unit probably disappeared as well. You can see we've cut their combat strength down to one. Let's, leave, let's stop that bombardment. They've done their job. Yeah, so that one's disappeared. Dog Company is taking fire, but from where? I didn't see. But certainly at this point, we've secured the Lomers Viler objective, so I'm going to pause this video. This is actually where I will call it to a close. So things are looking good if we look at control. Whoops. As long as we can eliminate this unit, we can close off all this area for ourselves, which is great. Now remember, at 0200 in the morning, which is you know, over 12 hours away still, we're going to get reinforcements, and those reinforcements is who I plan to send up this eastern leg. Originally, I wanted the 51st to move forward and take Breitfeld, which is still not a bad idea. The only problem with it is it'll leave a lot of room in between Lomersweiler and Breitfeld for all these German units to run free. 
and the situation we could find ourselves um, in is a lot of these German units under the cover of darkness push through and get into the forest area and then only my infantry can clear them which is you know less than ideal but I'll think about that a little bit off camera and hopefully I'll come up with a better solution all right well thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more in episode 4 until then take care